welcome to Gooseberry Ridge Farm. I'm going to try to give you a really quick farm update that I won't have to edit a lot. So we'll see how horrible this is. All right, we're at the small greenhouse. This is where I keep all of my um, plant start sale, plant start CSA, um, tomatoes and peppers. And there's a one tray of herbs there in the middle of it. You can see how awesome these tomatoes are doing. I started them on March. Um, I think I started them around the middle of March, so March 15th-ish. Um, these are doing awesome. The peppers are also fabulous. These are like the biggest, best peppers and most that I've ever grown. There's a, over 300 tomatoes and over 300 peppers in this um, nine by 12 greenhouse. So now we're gonna walk over to the big greenhouse where the kids are working on some, filling some trays for me so I can start a few more seeds. How are you guys doing? Good. We've got a tank top, a sweatshirt, some Christmas PJs. Yeah. Teddy's helping too. We're filling all these trays. We're going to start some more amaranth, some fennel, some more dill because my dill keeps not growing. And I don't remember what else. I'll show you in a minute. These two rows are already planted. Not at all what I planned, but I've got bee's friend and calendula in this row. And this row over here is two different types of blanket flower, scabiosa, snapdragons, and Chinese blue, blue Chinese forget-me-nots. I don't remember which order that is. I've still got to cover those two rows, this one back here, but look around the corner here. We did all of this this morning. Um, so it turns out landscape stables do very little for holding down this fabric and the wind when you have a whole bunch of rocks in your soil. So we are holding them down with cinder blocks and then we ran out of rocks and cinder blocks and we have all these pellets and things on this end rows, but at least it's going to hold back the weeds until I plant in these rows. These are the last rows I'm going to plant in in the summer for the summer stuff. So they won't go in until the end of May. These rows over here will go in earlier. So I didn't quite cover them yet. We did cover this row, which is where all my pollinator stuff is going. Now we'll take a look inside the big greenhouse. All right, in here we have lots of things growing. That's some status. There's some uh, zucchini and for my plant start CSA, I've got some kale that really should have been planted out already, but I haven't. Loofahs. And then there's a whole bunch of trays that look like they have nothing. Most of those are from a bad bag of dirt, I've discovered. Um, I'm trying to nurse them back to health like these. These are scabiosa and starflower scabiosa, and they really should look a lot bigger and greener. And this is a tray of dill that you can't even see because it looks awful. And there's a tray of blanket flowers like that and another tray of status. And I'm just trying not to focus on all that because it sucks. So yeah, anyway, these are the cucumbers, watermelons for the CSA. These are zinnias. There's a whole bunch more tiny baby zinnias. Those big plants down there are mostly straw flowers. Still not enough for what I needed, but I tried to start another tray of straw flowers right here. I just had a horrible, horrible time germinating things in the greenhouse this year. I tried to, to do more direct germinating in the trays and it's just not working. I believe this tray is Cosmos. I'm not sure what that is. More zinnias. That one is where I've just been throwing extra stuff, mixed stuff. Anyway, there's the Celosia. There's all sorts of things in here. I try to keep rotating everyone because the things on the shelves don't get as much sun. But anyway. Okay, I've also planted some things out on this row. Like there was, there's our yarrow from last year. It's done awesome. It's all budded out. 
Um, these giant things here are poppies that volunteered, but all the little plants around them are new yarrow. This is tansy over here. Um, but that yarrow will all be filled in. And on this side, I planted a few golden ball chrysanthemums, I believe. Anyway, they're little, there's not very many, but I think they'll be awesome. These are all of my sad, sad looking ranunculus and anemones. Not all of them are sad, but they, most of them are in them. We'll see. Um, this is carnations. They should be different shades of pink. And then some sweet William. I didn't, I didn't, sweet William is another thing that I lost a whole tray of to that bag of bad dirt. This is pretty exciting though. If you've watched some of the other videos, you saw the bachelor buttons just a month or so ago. They were not this tall. Now, where did they have all these buds? I don't know if you can tell how huge they are. They're, just, they're as big as they were in June last year. There's a red one about to open. There's a blue one about to open. Oops. There's a wasp on that one. Here is one down here that is open. Look how big it is. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know if it's even focusing. Beautiful. All right, there's another color down here. Pretty. So we're on our last flush of tulips out here, it looks like. Most of them are red and white. There's a few yellows left. And then on this row, there's some parrot tulips about to open. This guy's really pretty. These are short though. My fancy tulips. Oh, look at that one. See, and that one has a nice long stem. These are dance flying tulips, I think. But these down here never got very tall, but they're all gone anyway. I'm on the peony row right now. I'm just walking by and pinching off some of the extra buds um, because these are first year peonies and I'm not supposed to let them flower. But I'm not pinching off all of them, but some of these were just huge. Um, were just, they had huge roots and they had just tons and tons of eyes on them. And like one of them back there just had like six flower buds on it. So I can't in good conscience let that happen. Oh, so there's our baby goats. You can't see them because they're still in their mothers. Still waiting. So as part of our farm update, we're checking on goats. This is PETA. PETA's due in a couple weeks. Oh, this is June. June isn't even having a baby this year. Or probably ever, since she is so tiny. Um, and Molly's talking to Fiona. Fiona, it was due Wednesday. She's just slowly. But if you look at that, hey, oh, June, if that's you look at her right. belly on this side, the baby dog, you can tell like there's no babies there. They're, like the baby starts here. Like yeah, the babies, babies are start right in here. the middle, and they're there. She's dropped down. She's they're, just like, not. All the way down. Not making much progress. Yeah. Let's check on Jingle. She's looking yeah. big. And you can tell her babies are Her babies are still high? Yeah. yeah. They're still like... Still Pita! Down, but... Pita, where's your belly? <laughs> Maybe I can feel her belly. And Pita is a full-size Nubian goat and she was bred to a Nigerian dwarf. So I'm wondering if that's why her belly is so small. Or well, she's just... Got she's definitely got an udder. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fiona's about to start dragging on the ground. She's going in the back. Oh, it has Jasmine in front. And there's Peta. Fiona's hiding behind Jasmine. She doesn't want us to see how low her belly is. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the quick version of our farm update. It's uh, this time of year. It's going to be really difficult for making videos. So let's have to deal with it. Today, for example, in addition to planting 
covering the wheelbarrows and everything else we've done today, we have to mow this. I mentioned in a previous video that we used to mow it, or we planned to mow it with the uh, riding mower, but that that just doesn't quite fit properly. It throws grass everywhere. So here we are, push mowing this extremely fast growing thick grass. So while our goal is still to bring you more videos as the season goes on, please be patient. <laughs> <laughs>